beautifully. I love it. You're making a lot of progress. Okay, so we're going to start with reading. Our next sounds, Mom can give you these pages. Our U-E makes U, and E-W makes U, and O-O makes U. But here's a tricky thing. We are starting to get into a little bit trickier blend sometimes. So O-O actually makes two sounds. It makes g -ud and it makes k -ut. So this one makes U, this one makes ooh, and then one of the sounds that oo makes is ooh, but then it also makes uh, like good. So sometimes when you see an oo, you actually have to say, is it uh or is it ooh? But that's okay. And you can say both ways in the word. Exactly. To see which one like sounds right. Exactly. And sometimes we get it wrong, but it's okay. We're, we're fine with that. So this one makes ooh like blue, the color blue. This one makes ooh like blue, like I blew a bubble. And then this makes uh and ooh. Our next ones are er, 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 and er. <laughs> For some reason, English says that there's a lot of different ways to make the sound er. And here they are. We have er like to earn. We have er like after. We have er like bird. And we have this one, which is crazy. I don't know what a W is doing in front of that er, but that's what we have to learn. And that is like er app. Rap. Now, what does even rap mean? Like you wrap a gift. Oh. Right. I'm going to give you a few more. We can stay on these as long as you need to, but I think this is all starting to really click for you. You're doing beautifully. So I'm just going to go ahead and teach you these other ones. And if we have to stay on them for a few weeks, I'm totally cool with that. So here we go. A-L-L -L is a word and it's a blend. It makes all. E-A-R is a word and a blend. It makes ear, like your ear that you hear from. A-I-R makes air, like you breathe in air. And then we have O-L-D makes old. And I'll give you some examples of this. All fall. I got to tell you, Stella, these four are my favorite blends. I love these words. F ear, fear. F air, fair. And f old, fold. So these are your blends. I know it's a lot, but I think you can do it. And since the other ones seem like they're getting easier, you can maybe skip reviewing those this week on the curriculum. You can maybe just focus on this. And then for your other pages, what you can do instead of having to read three on each page, what you could do if it's starting to get super easy for you is just look at the page and say what the sound makes. So for example, you would have, say you were doing this page, which you're not, you would just look at the sound and say what it is. So you would say s, s, j, j, w. Instead of having to read it, you would just name the sounds for your old blends. If some of them are tricky, you can read a couple ones, but for the ones that you know, like CK and SK and AM and AN, you could skip those for, for now if you'd like, or if it's fun for you to do it, you can just read one on each of those pages. Totally up to you and mom. Okay, so this is your reading. Do you have any questions on these so far? Now we're going to get into your math. So these ones were a little tricky for you. 7 plus 7 is 14. 8 plus 8 is 16. And then I'm just going to go over some of the near blends. 4 plus 4 is 8. So 4 plus 5 is 9. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 5 plus 6 is 11. Six you know what's kind of like weird about 7 plus 7 and 8 plus 8? Tell me. It's like 7 plus 7 is higher and then 8 plus 8 is lower. No, so 8 plus 8 
is higher. So basically this one is seven plus seven is 14 and eight plus eight is 16 because seven is one more than eight and seven is one more than eight, which is why it's two more. Does that make sense to you? I kind of thought seven plus seven was 18. Uh, 14. Okay, uh -oh. six plus six is 12, so six plus seven is 13. 7 plus 7 is 14, so 7 plus 8 is 15, and 8 plus 8 is 16, so 8 plus 9 is 17. Now, I talked to you before our video about the near, near doubles, which are crazy, but watch what we do. There's just a few of them. 6 plus 8, 5 plus 8, and 5 plus 7. So, this one is six plus eight, and what I could do is change it into a six plus six, and then I'm not adding a six, I'm adding an eight, so I have to stick a plus two on the back. This together is what I split this eight into, and the only reason why I did it is because six plus six is my jam. I love it, because it's my double. So I know that didn't make sense to you when we were doing it before, but hopefully with a couple of repetitions with that, it will start to make sense. The other thing you can do is just memorize that it's 14, but I prefer that we break numbers into pieces. And what I mean by that is for this one, I know that I know five plus five is so easy for me. Five plus five is 10. So I'm gonna take this eight and I'm gonna split it into a five to make my other five. Here's my first five, here's my second five. But I can't just change numbers. I can't change a five into an eight. So I ask myself, if I changed this five into an eight, what would I have to add on the back to get this five back up to an eight. Oh, I know, three. So I add the three. So basically I'm taking this eight, let me rewrite it right here, and I'm saying, okay. I don't really get it. I know, you will. If I change this eight, and I say that this is easy for me to change into a five plus five because that's really easy for me. If I change this five, this number to a five, I have to add something to it because it's obviously not a five. I can't change eight to a five. So I'm gonna say five plus something equals eight. Oh yeah, I can change this to a five and a three. So basically I have five plus eight and I'm saying I don't really want this to be eight anymore. So I'm gonna say five plus five is 10 and I can't just erase numbers, right? But I can change this number into a five and a three, which makes eight. You froze. I don't think I froze. I'm giving a pause because what I'm waiting to hear is like, oh, but I didn't get my O oh yet. Sometimes this is what happens when I give people a pause. They go like this. Oh, and that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> okay, so let's try it again. Five plus seven is my number. And here we have, I don't really wanna keep this into a five plus seven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it into a five plus five because doubles are my jam. So whenever possible, I want to see numbers as these doubles. It doesn't always work, but it does with these three. 6 plus 8, 5 plus 8, and 5 plus 7, I can turn into a near, near double. So if I change this into a 5 plus 5, I can't just change a 7 to a 5. So I have to add 2 to the back because five plus two is seven. So basically what I did was I took this seven and I broke it into a five and I broke it into a two.
I'm not going to get an O this time, but I bet you a couple times after you watch this video, you're going to be like, oh, <laughs> okay. It's okay if you don't get it. Keep watching the video. You will get it. So now we are done with all of our math facts up to 10. Now I'm going to teach you the next set, which you told me that you understood the plus 10 strategy. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that awesome plus 10 strategy to figure out what plus 11, plus 12, plus 13 and 14 are. So for example, if I have 11 plus 7, I'm going to change it into a 10 plus 7 because 10 plus 7 is really easy for me to work with. But I don't have 10 plus 7 here. I have 11 plus 7. So I have to add the 1 to the back. And these two numbers right here make up my 11. So I'm basically splitting this 11 into a 10 and a 1. And I can do that all I want. So if I have an 8, I can split it into a 7 and a 1. I can split it into a 6 and a 2. I can split it into a 5 and a 3, a 4 and a 4. I could split it into any of those things. The only rule is, is that when you add these together, they have to equal 8. Does that make sense? So for this yeah. 11, all I can do to make my life easier is to change it into my easy breezy 10 plus 7. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm basically going to say, all right, 11 plus 6. I know 10 plus 6 is 16, and that's really easy for me. And this 10 is close to this 11. So I'm going to add the 1 to the back of my answer because I split this into a 10 and a 1 and I put this 10 here and then I put this 1 here. It's okay if it doesn't make sense to you honey, it will. So what I'm going to say when I figure this out is 10 plus 6 is 16 plus 1 is 17. There's never been a kid who didn't understand this after some time working with it so you will be fine, I promise. 12 plus 6, I'm going to split this into a 10 and a 2. And so I'm going to say, if I have 12 plus 6, I'm going to use 10 plus 6 equals 16 plus 2 equals 18. So I split this into a 10 and a 2. Here's my 10, here's my 2. I won't do this yet. We'll just stick with 11 and 12. So I'm going to go over a couple of the problems. So 11 plus 4. I'm going to do 10 plus 4 is 14 plus 1 is 15. Why would I do that, Stella? Why would I change my 11 into a 10 and a 1 split up like that? Well, maybe because it... It's 11 still because 10 plus 11 is 11. Yeah, so why would I not use my 10 plus 4, which is so easy for me. 10 plus 4 is 14. Oh, so if I use 10 plus 4, I just add the 1 to the back. And then it would make 15. Yep. I think I have almost, I'm bordering on an, oh, <laughs> it's okay. We'll get an O someday from it. Okay. So 11 plus five, I'm going to do 10 plus five is 15 plus one is 16. 11 plus six, I'm going to say 10 plus six is 16 plus one is 17. 11 plus seven, I'm gonna do 10 plus seven is 17, plus one is 18. 11 plus eight, I'm gonna use 10 plus eight is 18, plus one is 19. I'm gonna do 11 plus nine, 10 plus nine equals 19, 
plus 1 equals 20.